Okay, this is prior going to hospital. And you can see I'm not radioactive. Well, not noticeably radioactive. Of course, I'm somewhat radioactive due to potassium and stuff, but... Oh, my thyroid doesn't do anything. Quite high background radiation, sort of. But I'm not noticeably radioactive. Let's see how that changes. Ja, können Sie gerne nochmal dran halten. Ja, halten Sie die Spitze mal dran. Oh mein Gott. <lacht> das fängt richtig an zu schreien. Und das sind jetzt wie viel? 40 Megabekerel oder? Ich glaube ich glaub 70. 70 Megabekerel sogar, okay. Oh, läuft das noch? Bitte? Läuft das hier noch? Ja, deswegen nicht, dass die... Ja, das ist schon jetzt, das ist ein Schlauch, das hat das ist so eine ja, das sehr ja. drin. Das läuft gut, das ist schön, aber nicht. Wir machen hier noch ein extra Bildchen, ja? Das ist schön, ja. Nicht gut. Ich muss von der Kamera nochmal mitnehmen. Ne? Ja, stimmt, dieses Bunte, das hatte ich vor Ewigkeiten, wo das letztes Mal gemacht wurde, 2003 oder so, da hatte ich das auch schon mal. Cluster. Das ist das dick. Wo ist das Cluster da oben? Okay. okay. Ja. Dann gucke ich mal, wie ich weiter strahle. Mhm. Das hat ich auch noch nicht erlebt. Das, das merkt man ja jetzt schon. Ja klar. Das ist ja nicht schnell. Jetzt verpasst ich ja ganz schnell. Now I had to wait in the room for the technetium to be taken up by my thyroid. And I'm just measuring my radioactivity. This container contains all the radioactive waste that is syringes and all that kind of stuff. There's a lot of radioactive waste containers around in that hospital. I love it. And then it was finally time for the gamma camera. You can see me under the camera, I had the nurse taking a picture. And this is the final result. The butterfly-shaped organ in the middle is my thyroid, that took up the most of the technetium. But you can also clearly see my neck and the shape of my torso. And above, on the top of the picture, you can see two lymph nodes in the neck, which also took up quite a lot of technetium. Alright, so I'm at the bus stop going to go home and you can see still radioactive as hell and you can see I'm holding it far away from me Still over 10 microsieverts here. People are wondering what the fuck. That's funny. Okay, I'm back home. And I'm pretty radioactive. My thyroid is not that radioactive anymore. Well, that makes it doesn't mean to scream, of course. What is it? Some 80... Yeah, about 80 microsieverts an hour. But the thing is that the thing is that technetium um, leaves the thyroid about one hour after the uptake because um, it is sort of it is taken up like iodine. But the difference is that the thyroid sort of notices that it's not actually iodine and immediately begins to uh, 
yeah, kick it out. Now what the really funny thing is, if I put this like far away from me, you can see I'm still pretty radioactive and it's not even facing me, so. Oh yeah, 10 microsieverts. Yeah, now this sends off an arm length, as you can see. It's still like uh, 10, 10 to 20 microsieverts, and the funny thing is um, that when I was playing with my source disks, um, which are like, whatever, 20 microsieverts or whatever, they aim at 20 microsieverts an hour, and people were like, oh my god, you're going to die, it's so radioactive, you will have cancer tomorrow, and whatever. And now I've just been going home by public transport, and basically everybody within an arm's reach of me was receiving this exact dose, 20 microsieverts. And the thing is, um, I am not a small solstice like this, but it's all my whole body irradiating 20 microsieverts. And, well, that is considered safe for the public. And the thing is um, that I have um, this radionuclide technetium inside me. It's a pure gamma emitter. It's not alpha, beta and gamma like the uranium ore for example but it's pure gamma radiation, very penetrating radiation though it's rather soft gammas but it's still gamma radiation and um, I'm receiving a dose, an acute dose of one millisievert that is a thousand microsieverts on my whole body internally and the most of it of course goes on the thyroid and this is still considered absolutely safe and yeah you just gotta think twice about that, because I think radioactivity is highly overrated. People are exaggerating it and, yeah, just, I don't know, I think that ignorance really feeds the fear of a lot of human beings. And that's basically the problem, because, yeah, radioactivity is highly overrated. What I'm going to do now is drink an energy drink, or half of an energy drink because it contains a lot of caffeine, which is a diuretic. Um, it sort of makes you pee. <laughs> and um, this will hopefully flush out the te technetium out of my system, or a lot of it. And um, then I'm going to, of course, collect my urine and try to extract the technetium along with all the salts and stuff in the urine. Cheers. This is my first urine sample. Lovely. <laughs> And you can see we have about 100 microsieverts here. Okay, so this is probably the most disgusting thing I have ever done. But I have been cooking my urine in my kitchen. And what I'm left... <laughs> oh god, I can't believe I've done this. What I'm left with is some kind of disgusting yellow thing. But it's pretty radioactive. Uh, yeah. So I'm not holding it any closer to the dozen meter because um, it's it's really disgusting. Really be glad that it cannot smell this. This is horrible. Okay, so here we go. Probably the most disgusting element sample ever. Technetium in urine cells and some salt, 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 and all that kind of crap. You can see it's radioactive with 140 microsieverts an hour. So this proves that there is technetium in there and quite plenty. So this goes into my element collection. Sweet. By the way, um, Technetium 99M has a half time of 7 hours and the daughter nucleate is TC99 which has a half time of 200,000 years. So the radioactivity will probably not be noticeable anymore in a few days, but I still know that there's Technetium in there because I could measure it. So I'm the proud owner of Technetium.